Hi everyone, I'm Emily and I'm a dietitian with Levine Cancer Institute. Um, I'm here today to show you a little bit about butternut squash, um, how to break it down and kind of prep it and then um, be able to use it for your recipes. So the first example that I have is the steamer bags that you're gonna find in the frozen section in the grocery store. Go ahead and pop them in the microwave, get them nice and tender, and then you can add them at the end of the um, cooking process of the rest of your recipe. This is just an easy way when you're kind of short on time uh, to just go ahead and add some of the, the vegetables in there. Another way that you can find butternut squash in the grocery store is going to be these clamshell uh, pieces that are in the produce section. And I really like these because you get the fresh vegetable benefit, but at the same time, you don't have to be the one to cut it apart and chop it into all these tiny little pieces. You can add the olive oil and the seasonings, then put them out um, in a single layer on a sheet pan, pop that in the oven at about 400 degrees for probably 20 to 25 minutes. You may need a little bit longer depending on how big the pieces of butternut squash are. When they're done, you'll have that little crispy edge and lots of great flavor to add to the dishes that you're already preparing or as a side dish by themselves. Now that we've had those two um, you know, grocery store versions available, let's talk about how to cut apart a whole butternut squash. This one I actually grew in my garden this summer. You would think that butternut squash would be more of a, a winter vegetable, but they grow during the entire summer. And then at the beginning of fall, you can harvest them and uh, really eat them all winter long. This is a pretty typical size butternut squash. You will find that there's sort of a cylindrical neck and then more of a round bottom to it. When you're picking one in the grocery store, it's a little bit of a roll of the dice, unfortunately, to know if it's going to be a good one. But one thing that I have learned is that most often, as long as the bottom is a light brown color and not black, then everything inside will be good and, and you'll be able to eat it. We'll talk a little bit about what the signs are once we get down inside um, to make sure that it is a good one. I always start by going ahead and kind of breaking them apart in the middle. Takes a little bit of arm power. Then you have your two sections. I like to start with the top part. Um, honestly, I think it's just a little bit easier. Go ahead and cut the top off. And what we're doing here is really just trying to get this thick outer skin off of the butternut squash. You can kind of see there's a little bit of a different color between the outside skin and kind of that bright orange down there in the middle. And now we pretty much just shave down the side with our knife. And of course, be careful with your fingers. Um, having a good sharp knife is really important as well. And it doesn't have to be perfect but the more that you can kind of get that um, you know, same color to show through, that's how you know you really get the, the outside skin off of there. And then we just wanna dice this up. You wouldn't wanna roast this whole thing, but you could slice it in rounds or you could do just slivers, whatever your recipe or, or your interest calls for. But to make the dices, go ahead and slice down through. Then get your sticks there. And after that, we just dice it up. And that's how you would go through to cut this entire piece. Now the outside skin, you just can either compost or just throw it away. And when we do the bottom, you're gonna go ahead and chop that bottom off just to get a flat surface. And then the same idea where you sort of shave off, you just have to angle your knife a little bit differently here. Another way that you can do this would be just to kind of get the, the top half where you just do sort of this top sliver and then later on you can go ahead and turn it over and kind of shave from the bottom. Once all of that is done, you'll go ahead and slice through. So you'll see on the inside where the seeds are, very similar to a pumpkin, just a little bit different, a little bit smaller. You can go ahead and take your spoon and scoop out that inside part. And then of course, we would have already taken the skin off and now you can just go ahead and chop this as well. And you always wanna to try to get any chopped vegetable as close to the same size pieces as possible when you're roasting them or using them in a recipe, just because they're gonna cook more evenly. Um, a piece that is very tiny, so maybe this one, for example, will be much faster to cook 
than one like this. And then you just have some varying textures in your recipe. So always nice if you can get them about the same size when you're using them in, um, in a recipe. So that's how we would break down the butternut squash. We really appreciate you watching and be sure to check out the other videos. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit us online, send us an email, or give us a call. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos are released. And most of all, be well.